So that's kind of summer, you know, broken down into trolling, trolling or casting or jigging. Um, you know, that's what we're using. That's where we're finding fish. Now we kind of move on to this early fall period. And this is generally your pre turnover stage. This is 65 degrees to 55 degree water. Generally around that 55 degrees, we start seeing turnover or we might already be there. But in this early fall period, fish generally tend to hold on deeper transition areas. Some of your late summer rock areas in that 20 to 30 foot zone are still going to be productive areas. You also see a lot of new areas start getting productive this time of year. A lot of these uh, deep, like hard to soft bottom transitions off large pieces of structure um, start getting productive. So, you know, this is obviously a sonar shot here. You can see that water 65. I took this one, I think, in mid September this year. And uh, you can see it's all loaded up with walleyes. That's exactly what we'd be looking for on sonar right there. Here's a side image shot, and here's kind of an interesting shot. So right here you can see this this brighter bottom this is very hard bottom sand hard bottom over here too so we probably just came over this hump off the one side of it and you can see this darker area is all your softer bottom this is going to be your more mucky silty stuff and you can see there's walleyes that actually a lot of them this time of year will sit just off this hard bottom stuff in the soft bottom and the nice part about soft bottom is that walleyes show up very well on side imaging like you can see right here i kind of got a it zoomed in a little bit so you can see a little better here's the actual fish Here's a shadow. So those fish are a couple feet off bottom. We also have some more walleyes over here. And a lot of times this time of year, this is what we're looking for. It takes a little bit more work. It's kind of a weird time of year because fish are in transition. But a lot of times these hard to soft bottom areas are kind of what we're looking for. And I would say overall in this pre-turnover stage, we are fishing in deeper water. 20 to 30 foot is pretty common this time of year. And a lot of your same baits you use in the summer are still great baits, whether it's the Acme Hyper Rattle, Jigging Wrap, Shiver Minnow, you know, for vertical jigging those fish. One thing is true though, I don't do very well trolling this time of year. Those fish generally tend to kind of start cinching up around some of this deeper structure and it is much more of a jigging bite or a slip bobber with a crawler bite, something you can hold and keep right in that small area where those fish or a swim bait in that one half or three eighths ounce head. So generally that pre-turnover period does not last very long. We kind of go from summer and uh, all of a sudden, you know, where it seems like turnover always just sneaks up on us every year. And then that late fall period is definitely a very lengthy period of time, right? Um, generally this is like October until the lake freezes basically is the post turnover period. And it's kind of nice because the water stabilizes this time of year and, uh, you know, fish get very predictable the later into the season it does go. And this time of year is kind of interesting. There's a split of fish going on at this time of year. Um, generally there's a very shallow water movement post turnover, and then there's a very deep water movement. A lot of your intermediate depths all of a sudden become void of bait and life. Or a lot of times they start just holding a lot of smallmouth in our area. Now a lot of the lakes I fish a lot might have a max depth of 80 or 90 feet. And uh, some of the deep humps that these fish push out to will be like 30 to 50 foot. I just do not want to target walleyes there because especially if you bring them up too quick, the likelihood they're going to die is very high. So a lot of times I don't even fish that deep water bite. But if you have a, if your lake, the max depth is 30 foot, those fish in the summer, they might be at 15, 20. Late in the fall, they might go to 30 and those fish are targetable now. So, you know, keep that in mind if your lake fits that description. I spend most of my time targeting the shallow water bites, which are generally weed or rock oriented. And especially in northern Wisconsin, it's a lot of weed oriented bites. Especially after turnover, there's a lot of life that comes back to the weeds, and that's a lot of what I do late in the year, is fishing these weed bites right up until the lake freezes. So if you're fishing a late fall deep rock scenario, this is exactly what you're looking for, right? You can see we've got a whole bunch of marks on sonar, sonar imaging, uh, or sonar, down imaging confirms, you know, we got a whole bunch of fish here right on this little lip before it kind of breaks out here. That's what you're looking for if you're fishing deep rock on sonar and down imaging. Now, if you're fishing the shallow weed thing, this is a return of fish and life to the primary break, right? A lot of these shoreline breaks or a lot of the tops of these bars and reefs that are like five to 10 feet, a lot of these fish return to that edge of structure, that primary edge. And a lot of times this is like seven to 13 feet is I would say the sweet spot is in this per post turnover shallow water bite. And whenever you're looking for fish and weeds or shallow water flats or really any kind of shallow water, side imaging is absolutely king this time of year. So here's a side imaging shot. Um, you can see the weed edge is highlighted in red, thick weeds here, and then my walleyes are sitting just outside. 
this is exactly what I'm looking for is a very targetable amount of walleyes and I'm not fishing the, I'm fishing big spots here but a lot of times your weeds are pockety so this is just one little pocket of weeds where I might catch two three four fish I might go 100 yards find another one catch two three more and by the end of the day you have a great day catching fish so this is what you're looking for and a lot of times I'll drop a waypoint spot lock up win and I'm pitching back to them right here's another image here um, here we actually have an isolated pocket of thick weeds here Here's the actual weed edge, a little void in the weeds right where the boat is. And then these walleyes sitting right next to this. So weeds generally grow out of sand, right? Most of us know that, or soft bottom too. But the weeds in most of the lakes we're going to be fishing are growing out of sand. And uh, fish show up very well on sand. So that's why side imaging is such a great tool this time of year, both to see the weeds and obviously to see the walleyes. Might there be a few walleyes tucked into the weeds? We won't really see them. Probably, maybe, but most 99% of the fish that I'm fishing for in the weeds, I see them first relating to an edge like that, right? Now, late fall presentations, right? We've talked about what kind of spots we're looking for. We're either looking for that deep rock scenario, deep transition area, or we're fishing the shallow water weed or rock pattern. I do a lot of the weed pattern. The jig and the sucker minnow is a huge one. Um, that is, I catch more fish on that in the fall than anything else hands down, really where I'm fishing, very shallow, very deep, and kind of the later into the fall I go, the more I start using minnows and minnows, and generally by the last month of the season, it's all minnows for me, just because they are so effective. If I'm fishing deep water, it's that half or three eighths. If I'm fishing shallow water, quarter or one eighth, right? Um, now, if I'm fishing the Kalen's Jerk Minnow, it's an absolute killer this time of year too. I'm doing very small pops with that rod, and I don't fish this in deep water as much this time of year. Um, it just doesn't have to seem to have the same effect when I'm fishing vertical. I really like to cast this bait more than I like to vertically fish it, right? So if I am vertically fishing, um, I love the Acme Hype Rail, your Jigging Rafts, your Shaver Minnows. This is a great bait for deep water applications. And although the water is cold, because that bait is landing on bottom every time and stopping, and it just kind of stays in their face because you're fishing it so vertical, um, you can still fish that bait very hard and very quick late into the year. So here's kind of how I fish uh, the jerk minnow when the water starts getting colder like this. It's a lot like you would do it in the spring and not like you would do it in the summer when you're cranking it real hard. Uh, so here's the video on that. All right guys, so how do you fish the jerk minnow this time of year? Well, we'll kind of start with where summer was, right? So basically I'm throwing it out there. And like any jig, I wanna go all the way down to bottom first. I'm fishing a quarter ounce right now and we'll kind of talk about the depths you'd use, what weight and all that stuff. So I'm on bottom. In the summer, I'm doing a lot of real hard snapping like this. Let it hit bottom. Real hard snapping like this. This time of year, I tone it back a little bit. I do kind of just a small pop like that. Let it hit bottom. Small pop like that. Let it hit bottom. I'm, a couple things are happening. The bait's not getting quite quite as jumpy when I'm uh, doing those smaller pops like you can see there. It's also not coming as far off bottom. Generally in the fall these fish lock down quite a bit more to bottom and uh, by not bringing the bait that far up it gives those fish, uh, it keeps it right in the zone a lot more. You know in the summer these fish are willing to kind of roam around the water column a lot more. So that's kind of how I'm fishing that jerk minnow in the fall when that water gets colder. I want to keep it close to bottom. I'm not really cracking that rod hard. It's just that quick snap, quick snap, let it hit bottom. And uh, it's an absolute killer way to fish, especially um, anytime you have fish up shallow for sure. Now, the other thing, which is 99% of what I'm doing in the fall is fishing that, uh, that sucker minnow on jig, especially when the water gets very cold, like it is here. And... Um, I'll kind of show you how I'm working that. Basically, same kind of deal. It's no crazy action, but I am casting this 99% of the time. There's a bite. Let him take it a little bit. Keeping that line tight, felt that fish pop it right on the fall. It's kind of big to boat flip. Oh, we got it. So that's the biggest difference when you're keeping your line tight is that you should be able to feel those bites. So 
you basically don't jig into them like that. There's just a chunker about 18, maybe 19 inch Hayward area walleye, fat fish. We're gonna let him go. So that's the false sucker minnow thing. You can see basically what I'm doing there is I'm popping the rod up. The rod is staying high. And what that jig does is it just kind of pulls up like that and just has a slow glide down, right? Because I'm keeping that rod high. Almost all the bites, you kind of pull that thing up and then it goes like this. It's kind of penduluming down and you feel that line go boom and the rod tip just pops. Especially when I'm fishing a sucker, I generally open my bailer, just drop my tip a little bit, let that fish kind of bounce on it a few times, make sure he's got it, swing back and you got him. So absolutely killer way to fish all fall. Um, very productive. I had a absolute, it was a killer bite this past year, the shallow weed bite. We were fishing a lot of seven to, I'd say 13 feet of water right on weed edges or even on inside edges all the way up until the lake froze and we were absolutely pounding fish this fall. Um, they were very predictable and it was a ton of fun. While well, most guys um, had the belief that all the fish were way out deep. So we had a lot of the shallows to ourselves and a lot of lakes set up the same way. You get that very deep water bite um, and then you get a very shallow water bite. And those very shallow water fish are almost always hungry. Generally getting them to eat is not an issue. It's generally finding them, which is the bigger issue. So um, that's kind of that. And uh, yeah, that's kind of what I got for you guys. You know, it kind of walks you guys through the seasons, you know, how I'm finding fish, um, how I'm finding structure, the best technologies to use, and then it kind of walks you through presentation. Um, so I really hope you guys got a lot from this. Like I said, I really would have preferred to do this live um, to you guys in, a, in some kind of venue somewhere like we had originally planned to. But I hope this is very beneficial for you guys. I want to hear your feed <coughs> feedback. Shoot me a message. Um, shoot me a text, whatever it is. I want to hear what you guys thought of this because I'd like to do a whole bunch more of these really um, going forward. A lot of these online informational workshops, um, maybe on a hot bite that's going on at a certain time um, or maybe, you know, seasonal bites or, uh, you know, rigging stuff. A lot of these kind of things or maybe lake breakdowns, whatever it is. Um, but I do think it's a cool format and I really appreciate you guys for watching. Um, thanks for joining. Like I said, let me know what you think and uh, good luck. I am going to get out of here. I am on my way to Green Bay right now. Um, to go get in the boat for the first time this year. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, catch you next time.